Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to take a look at exporting a uh, IK oscillator set uh, into Ableton. Uh, so yeah, so it's dead easy, it's dead easy and dead good. But I want to show you another couple of things because if you export this, what, what you'll get is this, this is what we're going to export. And this is one of the stock kind of things, it's chill out one. So I want to export chill out two as well, not chill out three. We'll just export chill out one and two. Um, but you'll get the idea. When you export, like say, chill out one into Ableton, that's it. That's your project. Is would would be chill out one. I you know you can't export chill out one, chill out two, and, and have it all one set like a, a load of clips in Ableton. But there's a easy, easy peasy way around that, which I'll show you now. It's uh, actually it's more fun really. But anyway, so this is what we're going to export. <laughs> First, uh, okay, so first of all, we can close that. We can go to this here, and it says create as Ableton project. I shall. Uh, and I'm going to export this to, oh, also, if you haven't got Ableton Live uh, Light, you can get it completely free if you have IK Oscillator or Gadget. Works the same in Gadget as well. So, yeah, so that's easy. So if you haven't got it, just go and get it. It's, 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 it's dead easy. Uh, so I'm using Live Light um, for this. So uh, let's just export the Dropbox, and it exports the the five bits, and then it starts uploading. And it doesn't take too long because it's only short. Just chill, just chill and relax. Chill out, see. Okay, sign into Dropbox. Okay. So it's in Dropbox now. So uh, I'm going to do another one. So I'm going to go take this one. So I want those two projects in there. Because I'll tell you why. Um, because if we look at this and we, we play it. They all mix and match quite well, and you can use the you can hold, use the whole whole thing like this actually, and then build your own, save it as a complete and and do it that way. But anyway, so we're going to export that one, which is yeah, I'm going to export that one as two. So create Ableton project again, export to Dropbox, and it will upload those bits and pieces as well. There you go. Sign into Dropbox on a computer, and with Ableton Live. So that's cool. So anyway, yeah, we, you know, you can. There's several ways to do that as well. But we'll, I'll we'll just do the easiest way. So anyway, anyway, um, let's uh, let's go and check out uh, the PC side of things with Ableton now. Hello everybody, welcome back to this second part of the IK Oscillator import into Ableton. So, you saw that in the last part I um, just uh, dropped, uh, exported to Dropbox, uh, the two projects. So, where is my Dropbox here, somewhere? Um, I shall just open up the folder. So there it is, so in the folder here it will be IK Oscillator, here, will will have been created. We open that, and there's the two projects chill out one and chill out two. And if we look inside the projects, we have our Ableton uh, load out loader thing, project thing, and there we have the samples quite conveniently named. So, okay, so here's the, here's the best way I found of doing this um, you open your Ableton projects. I've made another one here. So you'll see that I'd already done one uh, a breakbeats thing uh, from just to check all this works and everything. So that's so the best thing the way I find this best is to open each pack and select the, all three bits and pieces and just stick them in there. And I'll do the same with the chill out two. So just bungle three in there like that. Okay. And then in the samples now, there should be all the samples that have been used in 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 all the different in in all the different projects. So that's cool, but we don't need to worry about that too much. So we can close that, 
and let's close that now I'll, I could click on the uh, sorry I'll just minimize that that's my screen recorder I could cl cl click on the uh, project obviously the project loading it'll open Ableton which oh, will just open oh my the wrong one again right I'll just open this okay so Wait for it for the loader. It'll uh, it'll boot up in a sec. So talk amongst yourselves. Here we go. So it, uh, it opens with the default project. So what we're going to do is a uh, file, and we're going to open live sets, and here it is. And we'll open chill out one. So open. And very simple as a magic and there it is now they're conveniently named for you as well which is nice because I don't think that well it didn't happen in gadget it may do now but we can now choose to I'm just gonna what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna create a another scene um, so if we play the whole thing turn up a bit Do what we normally do with Ableton and drop clips in and out. Now, now the thing is now I can't like if I open that other project I'm going to open a completely new project and say for instance I would just like my project in there the easiest way to do this and I'm sure there are other ways but the easiest way like I'm, I don't use Ableton like all the time obviously I ain't got time but um, <clears throat> the, 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 the way that I found to do it was to I added my Ableton projects folder here to to the uh, to the, the the clip browser thing here and uh, if I open samples, there are all my samples, and it's very easy to find. So because they're all named for you automatically, we can just drop out our our, our second lot of, uh, of 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 things. So we could go chill out, and as part one and part two, so we could we could put our um, our next one in there, and our chill out. Uh, did I just put the wrong one in? Just let me d d d delete that and start again. So my eyes are really bad. Chill out, all oh, right. Chill out, part two, part one. Chill out, two, part one, and then chill out, two, part two, and then chill out, three, part three, and then chill out, part four, 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 and then chill out, part five. Now, I'll know they're not named the drums now. Okay, you can obviously rename, you rename uh, your, your 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 thing to suit yourself, or you can just remember. So, if I play the second the second scene. start to mix and match if we like. start to build up our our whole new Ableton project and and, and add all bits and pieces now this is Ableton live light so it's completely the, the completely free version you do get a ton of stuff you get three things you get a load of loops and things like that you only get um, we just let me hide the ins and outs here you only get eight you can have eight eight uh, clips okay loaded uh, per session and uh, eight up to eight, eight, eight scenes. So you get eight clips and eight scenes. So, so eight scenes and then eight clips. And the eight clips can be either audio or MIDI. So, you know, if you're using your VSTs and stuff, which all work super cool and fine, and your exports and save and everything works great, the only thing you're limited in is, oh, you do get a ton of effects as well, but the only thing you're limited in is the amount of scenes and clips. And of course, if you want to, then you can upgrade to uh, standard or, I think, uh, standard or, or suite. Okay. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that. And that's pretty, pretty straightforward how you get your IK Oscillator sessions into Ableton. Very cool.
cool beans. And if you'd like to know how to do this with Gadget, it's exactly the same. I did do a video ages and ages ago when Gadget got updated with this feature. Um, it's on their channel somewhere. Um, just search Sound Test Room Gadget Ableton and you'll, it'll come up. All right, guys, hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, uh, like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, uh, come and see us at thesoundtestroom.com. And, uh, yeah, generally have a nice day. And uh, I'll see you guys later.